Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Preparation video for August 21st, 2020. Well, happy Friday, everyone. Yesterday, I had mentioned that we should expect that the bulls would not give up easily, and they certainly proved that yesterday. We had a a burst the the bears kind of enjoyed a burst of energy in the morning with a gap down but the bulls came roaring back um, actually pushing the nasdaq to a new record high so what does that mean for this morning well how about we grab ourselves something to drink settle into our comfy office chairs and let's get ready for the friday edition of the morning market prep video so this morning, everyone, we seem to be having a little bit of back and forth. During the night, um, U.S. futures were bullish um, pretty much all night long. And then as we kind of slid into the pre-market here, we have started to pull back slightly. Um, Asian markets uh, closed bullish overnight, but European markets have gone just a little bit flat to slightly bearish this morning after um, catching their PMI report. And this morning we face a PMI report um, coming up at like 9.45 Eastern time. So markets have just kind of slipped just slightly uh, and at least at the moment indicate just a slightly lower open nothing um, very bearish but just a slightly op lower open and i i'm going to reiterate that i don't think the bulls are going to give up easily um, i think they're going to fight and i think they're going to fight hard to maintain this trend and when we look at the overall market there's no reason to see a whole lot of bearishness here we are in a full-on bullish trend and as a matter of fact the patterns in the market are very bullish um, when you think about it and it's something i teach all the time in the right way uh, to the right way options members is the most common pattern in the market in a bullish trend we rise and then we either consolidate or we pull back to test trend and you can see that's all that's happening here we were rising and we're resting and pulling back to test trend we're holding above price support levels there's nothing in this chart at least at this point that really indicates bearishness but there may be that little bit of question out there of how much longer we can maintain this rally at some point in time buyers will kind of run out of funds and then we'll get that pullback that comes in the market and i will speak about something here in just a little bit that is a little bit of a concern to me but overall um, very very bullish in these indexes if we look at our moving averages we continue to remain very very bullish um, in these charts however we are rather extended in that possibility of a pullback or a consolidation a longer consolidation to allow time for our 50-day moving average just to catch up to price notice it's fairly common as we rise if we break too far away from the 50-day moving average we go through these protracted pullbacks or consolidating moves to retest that 50-day moving average it's a fairly common thing in the market and just the fact that we have rallied in a historic rally off of these lows any kind of rest or pullback should not be a major surprise in the market if it does come to pass so we should remain pretty focused on price action and flexible and it would be wise to remember that although FOMC and, and government stimulus and all those things have done their very best to drive the bears away. They still exist and they continue to lurk in the woods waiting for their opportunity to attack. Um, so we have to remain focused on this and not become complacent. There will be a selling wave that comes eventually and we just have to be prepared for that and be flexible enough to realize that all in all the time is not a healthy market and eventually there will be some selling and profit taking 
Whether that's going to come today, tomorrow, or whatever, I can't tell you. But what I can tell you is that we still have a very bullish um, trend and a very bullish pattern in the chart. And there's no reason, at least at this moment, to be in full-on panic mode. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY after claiming its new record high, saw a little bit of pressure yesterday, gapping down, but pushed up very strongly with a piercing pattern in the chart. Now the question becomes, can we push back out? Can we break on through? Right now we have futures pointing to just a slightly lower open. That doesn't mean much of anything, um, and just a little bit of rest here. Um, could we continue this bullish move um, later on this morning? I think yes, that is certainly possible. After we get some of these data points, it's certainly possible. But is it also possible that we continue to kind of slide sideways? And if I mark a trend on here, we could see that we could really pull back or slide sideways for several more days and not hurt this trend at all, not hurt the technicals of this chart. So kind of keep that in mind that a little bit of rest um, could be due um, just on virtue of the fact we pushed so hard to finally get through up there a little rest or pullback may be due in the market let's take a look at the cues now the nasdaq showing no signs of pulling back and what's interesting what i mentioned before something that i think we have to pay attention to um, is that there is a a remarkable imbalance going on in the market. We have the large techs, the big giant companies continuing to push higher. Um, Apple closed at a new $2 trillion uh, market cap for the first time. Um, it was a big driver yesterday, as well as the other tech giants, Facebook, Google, Amazon, moving up yesterday, Microsoft pushing the indexes higher. What was interesting is if you took a look at the S&P 500, the vast majority of the stocks in the S&P 500 were not moving up. They were moving sideways to slightly down. We have just this amazing imbalance right now where the techs and the tech giants have the strength and the ability because they control such a large portion of the weighting of the averages that we continue to move higher in the market. Now, how much longer that condition can exist, I don't know. Could it go on another day, another week, another month, another quarter? I don't know. But we do want to stay focused on that, um, that possibility that um, we could have um, – those bearish stocks start to take over just a little bit. So watch that closely and don't be lulled to sleep um, by this amazing bullishness that we've seen in those uh, tech sector stocks. Eventually, there will be some profit taking come into place and that could move the market significantly lower and pretty quickly it would be a surprising move uh, for a lot of folks so watch that closely but right now if we look at the trends of the nasdaq trend is extremely bullish we are very very strong pushing out to our 35th record high this year in the nasdaq that alone should make you pause just a little bit wondering how much longer a week will continue to buy stocks at these high evaluations just pushing them up relentlessly some point in time there will be an end to that and we have to um, be on our toes and watch for that possibility at any time um, so respect the price action here and stay focused let's take a look at iwm IWM suffered just a little bit yesterday in that pullback and was unable to continue the rally. Um, we saw um, energy stocks and um, and financial stocks struggling yesterday just a little bit. And so we pushed back up into that price resistance, but not really pushing through. And if we kind of mark that out we have a little bit of downtrend um, that we have to respect and this morning we're looking at a slightly lower open so unless we get that inspiration this morning we could have a little bit of a flat day but once again i'm not going to expect that those bulls are going to give up easily they are going to fight back hard and we could still see those big techs move these indexes on higher let's take a look at the vix 
Now the VIX, boy, I can't type this morning. Um, the VIX saw an, an explosive move up yesterday to test the top side of this downside, uh, downtrend. And you can see we popped up here pretty strongly yesterday in the morning, giving that little bit of fear. Although those bulls stepped back in and pushed us back down, let's notice that we continued to close the day. We closed the day just slightly uh, more elevated in the VIX. That's something we want to pay attention to. Um, we closed with bullishness across uh, the board in the indexes, and yet um, our VIX rallied just a little bit. So that's a little bit of a signal of caution that we should be watching that carefully. But I'm going to go on and say here, I don't think this gets very bad in any way, shape, or form until we break this downtrend hold it as support and then see another fear spike and it could all end notice our 50-day moving average is crossing down through a 200 we could see that rally up into here and then that failure occur and we just move on back down so don't get too excited about this but that's something we do want to watch for and what i'm more concerned about than anything else is that the market has become complacent that we we've gotten into this mode that the bears are no longer uh, uh, to be um, respected and when that occurs when we get that complacency in the market that's when we usually get the really big uh, pushback in the market. So watch that closely and just stay on your toes, stay focused. And just remember, more stocks went south or sideways yesterday than went up. That is a clue that we should be paying attention to. Let's take a look at T2122. Now, T2122 had a good solid pullback yesterday, pulling back below the 50 um, area in here. But notice we're just kind of hanging out here around the middle um, so that gives us plenty of upside opportunity we could see those bulls rushing back in pushing us back up um, that's certainly possible so we did get that pull back to relieve a little bit of that stress of being up here in that um, bearish reversal zone but we also have that possibility if those bears want to assert themselves and continue to have more stocks sliding south than going up we could certainly reach down in here pretty quickly into that lower region the good news is we don't have all that much selling to go on to put us into kind of a short-term oversold uh, condition um, if we do push down in there and that could mean a bounce back higher so watch that closely right now no particular direction given us um, here by t2122 just that idea that we really could um, see both directions in the market and means we have to stay on our toes um, here overall uh, t2101 this is the one that gives me a bit of concern and that is as we're making new record highs in the market notice that our market breadth is not making new highs um, as a matter of fact our market breadth continues to show us a declining um, condition here meaning that we have a major divergence going on between current market prices and um, our market breadth now that can be a double-edged sword we could see market breadth um, actually increase sharply on a sell-off okay that's not what we want to see what we'd like to see is our market breadth improving as we continue to rally but that's not the case here so just another sign that we have to stay on our toes and stay focused and just not be lulled to sleep by this bull run thinking that the bears will never come back because i suspect they will um, eventually they always have in the past and i i doubt that this time is that much different the bears are still here let's take a look at our economic calendar for today now our economic calendar um, I've already mentioned that we've got a couple things that we're gonna want to pay attention to today notice we've got a PMI composite flash this morning that caused a little bit of trouble over there in Europe this morning with um, a number that came in worse than expected 
so we'll want to keep an eye on that at 945 and then we have um, existing home sales now one thing i will tell you consensus estimates are looking for an improvement in the pmi flash and they're looking for a substantial improvement in existing home sales so if those were to come in uh, showing good signs we could rally right back right now dow futures are down 74 points we could rally that right back very quickly um, if those numbers do come in positive so kind of keep that in mind watch those closely this morning we also have a few things on the earnings calendar that we should be aware of out of about 18 companies reporting earnings this morning and or, or today and um, we'll want to be paying attention to those and there are a few notables um, that we'll want to take a look at first first off BKE um, the buckle will be reporting today retail store so probably not likely something that's really going to influence the overall market but notice that they are gapping up substantially this morning so the buckle apparently um, impressed investors here this morning gapping up on its earnings report and notice this may actually be breaking out as a, a significant level of resistance so it could set up an opportunity keep an eye on bke um, john deere is reporting today and it looks like John Deere has also um, impressed just a little bit gapping up this morning continuing in this uptrend we've seen the um, heavy equipment um, companies doing well John Deere Cummins uh, Caterpillar um, trying to rally back so John Deere looking good going higher um, big time breakout here Look at a, a massive breakout and showing strength in its earnings reports. That's, that's a good sign for the Dow. Let's take a look at um, Foot Locker. Foot Locker is also reporting this morning. And as you can see, it looks like we're gapping up off of this price support in the chart, gapping up slightly here on the Foot Locker report. So good reports so far this morning, it looks like. Um, PDD. PDD is one that is slipping this morning, as you can see, pushing down this specialty retailer, pushing lower. It's been challenging a resistance high in the chart. Uh, apparently uh, disappointed investors here this morning on its earnings report. So watch that one close. And that's all I have for notable reports today. Um, by the way, I did have someone ask a question um, and I didn't get a chance to answer it. Um, ask a question on how I find out um, what companies are reporting. Um, I, I use um, um, TD Ameritrade's platform, um, Thinkorswim. And as you can see right here, um, if you go to Thinkorswim, um, you can go to the calendar calendar tab and in the calendar tab you can um, not only see who's reporting earnings but in that report you can even sort by who's reporting in the morning who's uh, an unspecified report who's reporting in the afternoon you can sort uh, alphabetically if you want you can find out the reports that have been verified those that are unconfirmed um, and um, there's even links where you can go to their press release um, and join in on their conference call. So pretty darn handy. And if um, you're looking for that information, it's, it's always there. And of course, I'm always going to be producing it for the morning market prep video. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post a video. Also, if you feel the video was worthy, if you could please click that um, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment it helps us continue to grow and I just want to say thank you to everyone who does do that you guys are awesome um, I truly truly appreciate it um, some of the stocks that are setting up um, I want to caution you 
on them as we head into the weekend. One of the things that I do, and I'm running short on time here, but one of the things that I do is I'm more of a profit taker than a buyer on Fridays, just because of the uncertainty of the weekend. So kind of keep that in mind. And remember, every time I post a stock in these um, in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You need to be doing your own due diligence on these charts. Now, one of the places that you might want to look, take a look at stocks like Corning, GLW. GLW has been moving up in a nice trend. We're seeing some defensive sector stocks maybe holding up quite well. And you can see GLW has slid over here toward its trend. We want to watch this carefully to see if if there's an opportunity for that to pop up. I'm not sure that it will, but something that we want to pay attention to. Take a look at Masco, and this is one of the sectors that really was strong yesterday and could have an effect with the housing numbers today. Um, Masco, building materials, very, very strong. I'm watching this for that next upside opportunity in this trend. We can follow up on that same theme and go to um, Fastenal. Fastenal has held up very, very well, very strong, and you see had a little bit of a bullish move yesterday. It's been consolidated consolidating here recently, but we have a nice strong chart overall. So keep an eye on Fastenal. This has been a very bullish chart and continues to show that bullishness here, not seeing any sellers coming in. So Fastenal, good housing numbers, could continue to push that up. Take a look at the actual builder stocks like Lennar. Um, Lennar tried to push up yesterday, holding up very nice in a bullish trend, looking good. Um, Lennar, very strong. Um, KBH, KB Homes, whoops. There we go, KBH, holding up very well, trying to break out of some resistance highs, looking good, keep an eye on KBH. You could also look at um, Pulte Homes, Pulte Homes, very, very strong, holding up well in its trend. So kind of a theme here, a lot of those going on. You could also look, if you don't mind, a triple ETF. Take a look at Nail. Nail is a home builder ETF. It's a bull times three. Um, um, also holding up quite well in these charts. Um, other places to look, and I'm running I'm way past my time here, but other places to look, take a look at UPS. Um, UPS has had a tremendous run to the upside, but notice up here, no one really wants to sell it. So uh, as more and more people shop online in this COVID environment, um, the shippers continue to do very, very well. We should be keeping an eye on UPS for that next opportunity for that move higher. Um, that also means that we also need to be looking at um, FedEx. FedEx holding up very, very strong. Um, as you can see, holding up here, no sellers coming into this chart just yet, just consolidating. Let's keep a close eye on that for that next opportunity to move higher. So there's a few stocks for you to uh, mull over this morning. Um, I apologize, the videos run just a little bit long. Hope you found it helpful. I wanna wish everyone a fantastic weekend. Um, have a great day, great profits. Be safe, everyone, this weekend. And remember, remember, don't become too complacent in this market. At some point in time, those bears will come back into the market and we should be prepared for that um, day when it does occur. Y'all take care. Have a great weekend and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning.